Washington Street, etc. We have been given an allocation. It started out with 1,000 L&M units, which of course grew <coughs> nearly 5,000 total units in the market, etc. You know that number. Right. So, so it's a, it's a kind of unfair. And, and you, uh, uh, you, is there a lobbying group behind fair share housing? Possibly is. I don't know. I'm not down to Trenton to, to, to see who's, who's driving that. But uh, all I can do is to try to tell you that the deal that Hanover has and the years that we worked at it with professionals who have looked at this, who made these recommendations, these gentlemen didn't make these recommendations in a vacuum. They have reports. They have uh, planners' uh, uh, recommendations, etc. All pointing to the Burgess Associates, all pointing to these areas to try and accommodate fair share. Who says locate these many houses, Hanover? That's the uh, units. That's that's where we are. Right? Well, and at this point, I think you'll understand. I'm really, not at a position where I can respond to that because I don't want I don't want to affect I understand. the relationship or wh whatever's out there. But I, at, at some point, I I think you know some of those things I can very much like to answer. But this is um, one day just a the big, There's a big change since 2015 when this hit the courts. It's not like there's a whole history here and all of the municipalities and, and residents are feeling this change and there's a change in the dynamics. It's unlike any type of litigation I've been involved in and any attorney will, will tell you that because of the different um, aspects of the playing field. That's about the best I can say it right now, mm -hmm. but I understand your logic and what you're saying. Mr. Even, I have a question for you, though. Um, again, we're still trying to vet all this out, and a lot of stuff is coming. And would your preference be if we were to move this and we were to imminently guarantee 500 more condos or high density, or leave it where it is and potentially? in my opinion, a much slighter chance uh, of being developed. Which would your preference be? Tell me the lot. Give me a sample lot. Hypothetically. No, it's more, the more the question is, there's yeah, you have to give me a hypothetical here. sample lot where you know, these overlays are on residential properties and open space. Potentially. Open space, once it's gone, it's gone. I agree. Property next to Bear, empty parking lot, give me the units at Bear. I think we're trying to get to the okay. right. We're concerned. We, you know, there's been Don't a lot of concern expressed about police and schools and traffic. And we're saying that there's, there may be a, a very slight chance that whatever we conclusion or solution we come to may result in, five, as Mike said, up to 500 units being built much sooner than any of us had ever planned. And these are the sorts of things getting back to why we don't do studies and why we don't do all these things because we are still in flux as far as what the amount of units are going to be. Uh, Mike, I'm sorry, to, to Mike's question, you know, there's a potential of that happening, and that's going to impact schools and police and all the things that the community talked about that night when everybody was here. It wasn't just about Washington Avenue, it was about the community at large. And the question is, are you concerned enough about those 500 units impacting the entire community, maybe not near Washington Street, yet maybe some other lot somewhere else in town, or um, if we are able to somehow convince you that we are convinced that perhaps that that overlay zone might not necessarily happen and if it did it wouldn't be for many years what would your preference be i would bear property develop our own affordable housing for the affordable housing you don't need the market units i understand we oh, got I this agree. i agree with that i'm saying with the two choices you that, have, uh, I, and I'm, I'm you're black or white i'm looking for a solution that's in the middle that works for everyone and that's what I try to do, right? So you're well, trying to so pigeonhole me into one solution. A lot of towns, a lot of smart towns, they are building their own affordable housing for this exact reason. For the exact reason why you're trying to get me to say we take the 500. Madison, Harding, the list is long. They are building their own affordable housing. We have done it ourselves, okay? All right, that is the most logical option. Will we have to put some money out? I know we have our cigar box budget. That is the best option as a whole. It doesn't disrupt open space. It doesn't put overlay zones on residential properties. It doesn't let's roll the dice and hope 
that Dick Kitchell doesn't sell his property. So if we need 100 units, we build 100 units. Where? Uh, for me, I would put junkyard and the, tr and the truck lot. Uh, whatever we can get in there for senior units, that's what I would put on that lot. And if we're short 30 units, find another small little lot and put an overlay zone where we could do 30 units and it has to have market rate units on it has market rates. You're gonna have two things happen. I, pr I appreciate the time to speak here. All right, so let's say you have to do 100 units. All right, that's 100 affordable on your junk, or we'll say we get 80 there, on your junkyard and the truck lot. Okay, that's 80. So let's say we needed 130 total. So we, we need- have, We have to buy the junkyard and the, and the truck lot. Sure, okay. sure. So we're sure. paying for 10 million? Sure, sure. Okay. Yeah, I, I believe at your last campaign, you said you weren't afraid of debt. When you campaigned. For the right cause. I okay. Debt, debt, debt. So yeah. so yeah. like, I'm Lord. just saying, I've done the research. Mike, my at your Lord. last campaign, you said, don't be afraid of debt, okay? Debt is cheap nowadays, okay? Very, very cheap. Your taxes would double, Doug. I, and if that's what we want in the town with the lowest taxes and the best services, your taxes would double. If you're talking about buying high density property and uh, options to buy that property in the future, and you use by the way, very noble. And uh, I'd love to meet with the other mayors, including Mayor Panulo and, and Mayor Connolly, uh, on the matter and find out how they uh, still have they accomplished it with their senior housing. Did they take HUD money? Did they take uh, federal money? Did they get grants that you Anything you touch there Agreed, means it's not going to be your, your senior housing, my friend. It's going to be senior housing for whomever can use it. Uh, having said all of that, I believe we have to buy the properties. We would have properties. to buy the property at the build, high density build price. the units. In other words, you know you're built. You know you're, you're, you're helping my argument why Dick Kitchell's going to sell. So then we have to <laughs> operate. It. You're, you're actually helping my argument on why Dick Kitchell's going to sell high density housing. Ten million. Hang on, Dick Kitchell. All of a sudden, a million dollar lot. He's not going to sell for ten million. You're arguing Probably against not. yourself here. Probably not. I don't think so. Oh, come on. Come on. I, I don't want to be rude, but 